Hello everyone, and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Uh, I'm going to do a video today. A few months back, I was watching a video on Fresh Air's channel. That's P-H-R-E-S-H-A-Y-R. -E Lonnie's a pretty decent guy. He's got some really neat videos. And um, I actually asked him if it was possible if I did this video just to try it, because I thought it was amazing. Just have a, a can. Okay. You have to be able to seal it. And you poke a hole in the center of it. You put the pan underneath and you bury it in the ground. And then you fill it up with birch bark, as much as you can pack in there. And you put that cover on there. And then you let it burn for a couple hours. And what it does is it takes and it gets so hot in there, it actually, almost like a still, it just, it just makes all the oil come out of this birch bark. And then come down and then it'll drip into your pan underneath it. I just thought that was the neatest thing. So I'm going to give it a try here. We're going to go through all the steps and see if we can't do the same thing. All right, so the first thing we want to do is poke a hole in the bottom of this can. And you got to do it from the inside out, so it kind of makes when this left hole will funnel outward. So you don't need much of a hole. I don't know if you can see that. There's my hole. And as you can see then, it pushes outward, so the oil will go down. It won't stick inside of there. So there's step one. We have this can, which will go here. This one is here. Now we have to dig a hole. Well, I got the hole dug. I dug a main hole and then a littler one in the center there. What we're going to do is get some dirt backfilled around this. And according to what I watched, what you want at the, the end is like half of this paint can covered up in dirt, it looks like. I suppose that will help the oil, I don't know, cool down, I suppose. So if we do something like this here, Okay, and now we're going to fill up the birch bark into the pail. Now, as far as birch bark goes, you don't have to take it off any live trees up here. They're logging everywhere. There's birch bark everywhere. I could easily get a truckload of this. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. So we are just going to stick it in here and get it packed in just as tight as we can get it. And then we'll come back. Well, I think that's about all I can fit in there. It's surprising how much birch bark, birch bark you can fit into a paint can. So we're going to seal it up tight. That looks pretty good. And then let's uh, put it on our little hole there and get a fire going around it. I'm just going to put that much dirt on there. I want to get as much fire around this as I can, but I want it sealed on the bottom so that that oil will go down in there. And hopefully I'm going to do this right. Okay, let's get some wood. Well, this fire is going to have to burn for a couple hours, and we'll just keep covering it up and just keep the fire with the bucket underneath there. So this is the part where you guys pretend that I'm rubbing my uh, magnesium fire stick. One thing about birch bark, it really gets going. Well, this has been going for about, I don't know, half hour now, so I'm just going to let it burn for another, you know, hour and a half. Just keep coming out and putting wood on there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the can right there, so, and it's a very hot fire. So, anyway, we'll be back in an hour and a half, and we'll pull all this stuff off and see if we ended up with anything. Well, it's been pushing two hours now. Uh, that was a really hot fire. Uh, one thing that I did see uh, when Lonnie did his... He had a different kind of a can, and 
he had to put a rock on top of his, and I ended up having to do it with this one too because I don't know if it's a heat in there or whatever, and I've, you've seen me beat that cap down tight on that old paint can. It still popped it up, and the flames were shooting out. So I'm going to pull this rock out now, and then I'll get a stick here, and we'll pull that, that pan off there after I get rid of some of those ashes, and we'll see if we have anything down there. Definitely something down in there. I gotta get something to grab it and pull that out. I'll be back in a second. Not bad, man. That's like more than a third of a of a can. Well, we're gonna dump that in a jar here in a little bit and see how much we got. And we can see the color of it and everything. kind of want to see what this bark looks like after it's went through this process. Ouch. It's just completely charred. That is amazing. All right, well, I'm going to go grab a jar and we'll see how much we got. I'm pretty sure that this is a six ounce jar because those little butter ones were four ounce. And this isn't a whole cup, but it's really weird because this was, you know, in that fire and you, it's cool to the touch. I mean, it's not cool, but it's not hot. Wow, that is some black stuff there. So I don't know, five ounces out of that. I think it'd be really neat if you had a like a two gallon cast iron one where you could cap that top on really good but it's weird it feels just like it feels and looks like used motor oil kind of smells like used motor oil a little bit of birch to it anyway uh, that video worked really really well and um, I'm gonna definitely do this again and I'm wondering if we can use this can we add this to like uh, regular lamp oil to make our lamp oil last longer or will it make it really smoke a lot or whatever anyway that was a fun video hope you guys enjoyed it um, thanks a lot for watching the Jones X survival channel